If you're looking for cheap and instant Madden 17 coins on any platform, make sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with a different type of video today, but a video I think is very important for this community. I want to go over 10 things that have got to be fixed in Madden 17. And what I say here might be a little touchy for some of you because I know a lot of my viewers love Madden 17 regardless. But one thing I think we all can agree on, and if you don't agree with this, you just need to think about it logically. I've never in all my years seen a Madden game have as little interest as it does just a month after its release. Like literally nobody seems like they care about Madden 17 or Madden 17 Ultimate Team in general. Like everybody's views are down, just nobody, like even go look at Twitch if you don't believe me. Go look at Twitch and compare Madden to another game like NBA, like FIFA. Like there's at all times roughly a thousand people in total watching Madden on Twitch. On FIFA, on NBA, there's tens of thousands, tens of thousands. That just shows you what little interest this game has right now. And that has to be for a reason, because this has never been the case before. No matter if you think the game is good, if you are enjoying the game, you can't disagree with the fact that there's never been this little interest, and there's got to be a reason behind that. It's just not no interest in the game for literally no reason. There has got to be a reason behind there being no interest in the game, because it's not been like this before. And I'm gonna go over 10 things in this video, just some maybe some glitches, maybe some things I think need to be different in the game that hopefully would fix this game and make Madden great again. It's just like a lot of little stupid things combined that just make the game just unplayable at points. So things I'm gonna go over, hopefully you guys enjoy. If there's anything you think that I don't mention in this video that need to be fixed in Madden 17, let me know in the comment section below. And let's get into it. First of all, I think I cannot believe they have not fixed the Madden 17 is the auction glitch. Like, a lot of the time your auction house gets glitched, especially if you're trying to add a card into a set. Like, for example, say, well, first of all, I don't understand this. I was almost done with my Titan set to get their Color Rush uniform, and it's like reset. So that's kind of weird. I have like 18 out of 22 items, and it's all reset, although it does expire on the 6. But that's beside the point. The point is... When you try to search for a player to add into the set, your auction house gets completely freaking screwed up, dude. And it's just so, it's like little things are so stupid. Yes, if you back out of Ultimate Team, most of the time it does fix this glitch. But the fact that you can't search for a player on the auction house via a set and try to add it into the set, that just completely screws up your convenience. And if you just back out of this and then try to search for the card without backing out of Ultimate Team, it's still glitched like this. Like, I cannot believe this hasn't been fixed. The next thing that needs to be fixed is the freaking matchmaking, man. I've never seen it this bad in Madden. As you're seeing on the screen right now, the footage is of my last year Ultimate Team episode. And in that episode, I have a 71 overall team. And look at the team they match me up against. I mean, that has to easily, easily be an 88 overall team or higher. Like, maybe you don't agree with this statement. In Madden, the players or the talent you have on your team is very, very vital when it comes to the outcome of the game, the performance. Like, it's almost impossible to beat somebody with a team that's like 10 overall better than your team. It's a little bit different in like FIFA and such, you have a better chance when your teams are a little bit different in terms of talent level, but they just have got to fix, like, they should not be matching up a 71 overall team with like an 80, not even an 80 overall team. Like, that, that just makes no sense and that's something I, I just can't believe that's not fixed in this game. Yeah, and that glitch. That glitch has been in the game ever since it's been released. And they still haven't fixed it. Like, come on now. And next, guys, collectibles are ruining Ultimate Team. And if you want to see me go more in depth on this, and you want to see me rant on this, and it includes very explicit language, so if you're under 18, please do not watch this. But I'll leave a link. I guess I'll put it as an annotation on the screen, and I'll leave it in the description box below. Get a little bit more explicit with it. But, guys, it, just in general... The collectibles are taking over the game. Like, Ultimate Team's all about collectibles now. And, like, really, who buys Madden and plays Ultimate Team and goes into it thinking, yes, let's get some collectibles. Like, come on now. And this is just a great set, for example. To get a Cola Rush Elite player, you have got to get 32 collectibles to put into this set to get one god dang blank uniform. And if you want to see me rant more on that, go watch the video that I linked below. 
but you get, need 32 collectibles to get one collectible. Then you need one of those collectibles that you get from adding in 32 collectibles. You need eight of those to get a player. Like, man, we want players. Every single bundle that's released, it seems like, every single pack contains a collectible. A collectible. Make the, make the game fun. To make people excited to open up packs just to play the game in general, we want players. We want to get players. We don't want to worry about all these stupid collectibles. It used to be fun back in the day when it was just badges and maybe they had a Thanksgiving promo and you need collectibles for that, like the seasonal promos, that's cool. But not every single week, not multiple times a week, not to get flashback players, not to get every single legend. We don't want a game of collectibles, that's just not fun. And next is a little small glitch that I cannot believe that hasn't been fixed. Every single time that I end a franchise game and connect a franchise, it doesn't load me back into the franchise. And for me to be able to go back into it, I have to quit the game. And I know that's not a huge thing because the games still count, like in terms of the result, but just the inconvenience, and that's just little things that just turn people off from playing the game. Like, we want to jump right back into the franchise. We don't have to quit and wait 17 minutes for the game to load back in. Like, come on, why can't these things be fixed? And it's just, it's just unexcusable. And I hate to be the guy to harp on this particular thing, but it's, it's unavoidable, and it, it's 100% the truth. The pack luck in this game, or in any game ever, has never been this bad. I want you guys just to take in what I'm about to say, and I want you to realize making videos on this video game is my job. It's my job to generate coins to do pack openings, that's part of my job. So I've spent probably a thousand dollars, or close to a thousand dollars on this year's game when it comes to opening up packs for, like I said, videos, for pack openings, to generate coins for videos. A thousand dollars, guys. A thousand god dang dollars that a lot of people don't have to spend. I pulled five elite players this year. Five elite players in a thousand dollars, dude. Like, are you kidding me? A thousand dollars. That's about 20 copies worth of Madden 17 to get five players. That's $200 per elite player when those elite players go for normally under 50,000 coins. Like, are you kidding me, Madden? And just to prove a point, guys, I'm spending more money on the game to show you guys that you shouldn't spend money, man. Like, look at this. Like, look at the stuff you get out of packs, guys. Like, why does somebody want to buy that? That's, what, four, almost $4 right there for what? Just, just nothing. Absolutely nothing, dude. And this is 97% of the packs in this game. Like, you want to bring excitement back into Ultimate Team? Stop giving us these collectibles. Give us players. Give us elite players. Increase the odds. If you want people to open up packs, don't give us collectibles. We don't want collectibles, man. We want players. And I forgot to mention, in terms of the auction thing, when you go to search for a player out of a set, it messes up your item binder, too. And another thing I think they dropped the ball on is the Team Hero sets. Why do I want 32 players that I can't do anything with? Why are they not auctionable? Yeah, I know it would kind of flood the market, but these players would be very cheap. And what's that going to do? Just help people make coins to buy better players because that's what we want. We want players. We don't want to spend, what, 20,000 coins finishing these sets and just having them just completely fill up our binder and just be completely useless. Like, come on now. Why are these players not auctionable? And another thing I have to harp on is the badge pack luck, guys. I've never had a Madden game where the badge pack luck is this bad. I've probably opened roughly 100 badge packs this year, and I've gotten maybe a total of 5 gold badges and 0 elite badges. At least probably 95% of the badges that I get are bronze. Like, just watch this pack. For example, at most, at most, I'm going to get 2 silver badges. At most. I've had plenty of 10 badge packs where they've all been bronze. Like, look at that. Look at that. All 10 badges for 5 gold players are all bronze. Are you, like, make the game fun, dude. Make it fun. That's the key. You want people to play your game? You want interest to surround your game? Make it fun and stop making it so useless. And the next thing that 100% has got to be taken out of Ultimate Team is the lock-in lineup system. Like, what is even the point? There is genuine... Nobody can tell me one valid point for having the lock-in lineup system. Like, for example, you can just reset it every single time. Why must we lock in our lineup in order to play in season? The one thing that this does ensure is that some people will forget to lock in their lineup, so they'll go into a game accidentally with the wrong lineup. That happened to me in a wager match against K. I, I, I did not think about resetting my locked in lineup to play against a friend. Therefore, the active lineup I had set didn't play in that game. The previous locked in lineup I had set played in that game. Like, why? 
what is the purpose? We can reset it whenever we want to, but it's just, it's just another waste of time. Something that makes literally no sense whatsoever that was added into the game. Like, why must we lock in our lineup? Why can't we just have our active lineup play our games like it's been in years past? Because doesn't that make sense? And last but not least, the thing that needs to be brought back into Ultimate Team and Madden in general, not even going to mention team play, that literally everybody you see on social media wants Madden to bring back. So that could be a thing to help generate some interest into a game, but no, Madden for some reason won't add it back into the game. With that said, they need to bring back the playoff system in head-to-head. -head. Nobody, and literally nobody, likes the new head-to-head -head season type thing. You want interest, people enjoyed going through a season, making the playoffs, playing in the playoffs, playing the Super Bowl. The developers say, oh, the rewards are so much better. First of all, the rewards aren't even that much better. You have to be an absolute beast at Madden to get good rewards on a consistent basis. And with the way the matchmaking is, half the time you get matched up with a 97% better team than you have, so it's hard to win anyway. So, it's like a lose-lose situation for everybody, and if you want there to be just a little bit of interest brought back to Ultimate Team, bring back the playoff system, which people enjoyed. People did enjoy the playoff system. I know I enjoyed going through a season, trying to make the playoffs. Not, oh, we, we have to win. We can only lose two games, so I have to go 8-2 and two every single season, and then maybe I can actually get a good reward. Like, what? Come on now, every little bit of feedback I've seen with them bringing in this head-to-head -head season has been negative. And they say they do what we tell them to do, but nobody wants this, we want the playoffs back. Like, it's just all about bringing interest back to Madden. And everybody across the community is feeling it. There's been no interest in the game. And there's been very few games ever released that have somewhat bit of value that have been released and within a month. There's been this little of interest. So. No matter what you believe in the game, no matter if you enjoy it or not, there's got to be a reason behind it. And I think at least fixing these 10 problems, rather it be glitches I went over, rather it be just stupid little features in the game that mess you up and waste your time, and they just turn people off, I think this would at least bring some bit of interest back to Madden, which we all want to see because we all love football. We just all want to have a good game that everybody does enjoy. So... That's been the 10 things I think need to be fixed for Madden 17 for the interest to come back. If you guys have any other suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully you did enjoy and hopefully you do think these 10 things would be good to fix in Madden. But with that said, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.